Hello, everyone, and welcome uh, to our story time. Uh, I was uh, actually going through our uh, uh, book fair, and I came across this really awesome book, The Tale of Three Trees. And you know what? I just had to share it with you. So sit back, relax, enjoy uh, as we read, and then we'll talk about it uh, at the very end. The Tale of Three Trees, a traditional folk tale. Once upon a mountain top, three little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars, twinkling like diamonds above him. I want to hold treasure, he said. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be a strong sailing ship, he said. I want to travel the mighty waters and carry powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below, where busy men and busy women worked in busy towns. I don't want to leave this mountaintop at all, she said. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed, the rains came, the sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful chest thought the first tree. I shall hold wonderful treasures. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship fit for kings. The third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked her way. She stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven, but the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. With a swoop of his shining axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter's shop, but the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, his work-worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure. He was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships were being made that day. Instead, the once strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat too small and too weak to sail an ocean or even a river. He was taken to a little lake. Every day he brought in loads of dead, smelly fish. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to do was stay on the mountaintop and point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her new, newborn baby into the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. And suddenly the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and the rain. The tired man awakened. He stood up, stretched out his hand, and said, Peace. 
the storm stop as quickly as it has be, as, as it had begun. And suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and of earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten woodpile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning... When the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. That was better than being the tallest tree in the world. The Tale of Three Trees, what a... What an awesome book. Just what a beautiful book. And, and it was okay if you shed a tear during that book. I get chills. This is the second or third time that I've read this already. And I get chills every time. You know, it's a story that, that really tells us that, you know, sometimes we have big, big plans for ourselves. That we think that we know, we know what's best. But it's truly that God, who is over us, he knows exactly what to use us for. And like our trees who had grandiose ideas for what their lives were going to be, what they wound up doing was some of the greatest things ever. Hold our king, right, as a baby, carry our king across the sea, and finally hold our king, our savior, Jesus, upon a cross. And that cross, as that last tree wanted people to look at her, right, and, and see God. Well, that's exactly what wound up happening, right? Every time you see that cross, every time you see that once, that former tree, but now that we see that cross, we can look to God and see the amazing things that he has done for us in our lives. It is Palm Sunday today, and we get to uh, venture uh, towards Easter. So uh, as you are going through Holy Week this week, uh, think of the wonderful uh, works that Jesus did in his ministry, uh, and think of uh, the wonderful work that Jesus does on the cross for you and for me. And then, of course, what that leads to, we know, uh, the empty tomb and how great that will be. So I appreciate you guys sitting back and uh, listening to me uh, chat through a book. I hope you have a uh, great rest of your day. And uh, I believe uh, I get to see you again next week as we get to read an Easter book. Enjoy. Enjoy.